Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a free Amazon Web Services account, which we're going to be using this semester. I am at aws.amazon.com slash education, and I'm going to click this Create Free Account button. Then I'm going to enter in my email credentials and I'm just going to use a Gmail account here tell them that I am a new user and go ahead and click the sign in button so then Amazon is going to want some basic information from me and then after I've entered all of that I'm going to create my account and they'll want even more information from me at this point then I'm going to go ahead and click the create account and continue. And you can see here that uh, I get free uh, usage of some of their compute resources and quite a bit of it as a matter of fact, but uh, they're still going to want a credit card number from me. So. Uh, you will need to go ahead and enter a credit card in at this point, which I will do. Okay, so now that I've entered my credit card information, it's going to go want, uh, ahead and want to call me. So I'm going to click that button. And when the system calls me, it's going to want me to enter uh, this PIN number to validate that okay so I've validated my pin with Amazon and now I'm gonna click to continue so I don't want any support here I'm just gonna go ahead with the free option and now you can see uh, I'm all set up with an Amazon Web Services account and at this point I haven't been charged anything you will be charged for this portion of it and uh, this will give us the ability to do some basic things so I'm gonna click into this sign into console and I will need to re-enter my credentials here Now you can see I'm in the Amazon Web Services Administration Console, which gives me all sorts of options, which we're going to explore in uh, future exercises. Okay, one thing though that is very important that I want you to set up so you don't uh, inadvertently spend a bunch of money without knowing it is to set up a billing alert so if you go up here and click the services you'll see over here on the left hand side there is billing and inside of uh, this area you can click on preferences and then you can click on receive billing alerts and save that preference and then you can go ahead and manage your billing alerts. So uh, what I would like to do is um, set up a billing alarm by clicking billing on the left hand side and then I'm going to cl click create alarm. And uh, I'm gonna say, hey, if I spend more than $5, then go ahead and send me an email at um, my University of Omaha email. So now I'll click that create alarm and then uh, it will send me an email just like that, uh, which I can uh, confirm, but I'm not going to worry about doing that right now. And uh, I'm just going to click I will do it later. And then uh, 
as soon as I go out there and, and confirm this, I'll end up with a confirmation. So now that I've gone ahead and confirmed that, I'm going to hit refresh. You can see that this alarm is set up and it will uh, let me know if I've spent more than $5 a month. Okay, that's it for now and I'll be back uh, with another video talking about how we can begin to use this service.